If you are tired of paying $20 per month for cursor, there is an absolutely free alternative which is equally good and in fact much better in so many cases. I am talking about Tray.ai which is an absolutely free alternative to Cursor AI Code Editor and it gives you access to Clouds 103.7 absolutely for free. Not only that, you can access Clouds 103.5, GPT-4 Omni, DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek V3. And in fact, you can add your own custom model, maybe something from Open Router. You can add something like Gemini 2.5 Pro as well, that too absolutely for free. So Tray AI is a 100% free alternative to Cursor. And just like the AI agents in Cursor and Windsurf, Tray also has its own AI agent which is called Builder. So the functionality is absolutely similar to Cursor. The only difference is Cursor costs $20 and Tray costs $0. So in this video, let's just explore more about Tray. I'll guide you in detail that how you can download and install Tray absolutely for free. And also we'll try to build something using Tray and see that how it is different in terms of functionalities from Cursor and Windsurf. So before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, to download Tray, you can simply just go to Tray.ai, T-R-A-E.ai. And in here, you can simply just click on this download Tray. Simply just click on this button. And from here, if you are on Windows, it will download tray for windows if you're on mac you can download tray for mac it will download this setup file on your computer and from here you can simply just double click on this file and just install it simply on your computer once it is installed on your computer simply just look for tray on your search bar and then open it simply this is how it will look like when you'll open tray for the first time you can create an account using tray just using your google account i have already created that and once you are logged in now next step is you can just like choose an empty folder on your computer or maybe you can clone a github repository but the easiest way is simply just choose an empty folder on your computer so i have just created this empty folder i'll just simply click on this select folder button and now it will open that empty folder inside tray now we need to create an empty next.js project i'll simply just click on this toggle panel and it will open this terminal for us and now we just need to like run a command to create an empty next.js project you can simply just go to this official website of next.js which is nextjs.org and from here you can simply just go to this docs tab and from there you can simply just go to this installation tab and from here this is the command that you need to run inside your terminal just copy this command from here and then go back to tray run this command inside tray press enter and now it will ask you to give it a name just wait for that let's just give it a project a name i'll just give it a name tray press enter now you can just like press on enter enter and choose all of these default selected options it will now install dependencies and in here on this left side you can see our next.js project files are being set up right now you can see these dependencies are being installed so let's just wait for that it should not take more than a couple of minutes all right so all of the dependencies are installed that means our next.js project is created now right now you can see this is a root folder i'll simply just open this root folder as main folder for this project so let me just click on this file and then click on this open folder button and from here i'll just choose the root folder which is tray i'll simply just click on that and now tray root folder has been opened so now this folder is our main root folder let's just try to run our project and see if everything is working fine so i'll just run this command which is npm run dev press enter and now it should open our project in localhost. All right, so the project is running right now. I can simply just click on this open preview. And right now you can see Tray has opened this directly inside Tray. So otherwise we could just copy this URL from here and then open that inside our browser. But in Tray, you can see we can have this preview right here inside Tray. And right now you can see our project is working perfectly fine. And this is our default page. Everything is working perfectly fine. And now let's just ask Tray Builder to create something for us. I want to create a project management tool to manage my personal projects. I will be the only user in this tool, but there will be multiple projects. Please create a very personalized project management tool for me. I have already created an empty next.js project. So you can start development from here. First, let's just create dashboard for our tool. Then we'll move towards the next steps. All right, so once you've provided your requirements, simply just press on enter. And now Tray will start writing code for us. So Tray has just start writing code. First, it will update package.json file. Then it will update this layout.esx file. Then of course, page.esx file. Perfect. Right now it is creating this dashboard component. I'll just click on this accept all. So this is a dashboard component file. I'll simply just click on this run and see how it looks like. All right, let me just open that inside my browser. I'll just copy this URL from here. Then I'll just paste that inside my browser. So this is this uh, 3001 port. Okay, so there's an issue. Let me just open the dashboard page. So this is dashboard. And now you can see this is the basic layout that it has created. So let me just ask it to add an option to create a task and add a project. Now please add an option to add a new project 
and then assign different tasks to different projects then create a project view dashboard where i can view different tasks from different projects all right so let's just press enter and see if it can do that or not so right now it is just updating this dashboard component and now it is adding that task management ui component as well i'll just press on accept all now it has made some changes related to management ui components and now it is asking us to install this headless ui react so i'll just click on this run and now it will install this package after that we can simply just click on this accept all button so now that package installed perfect functionality wise tray is similar to cursor i mean there is no difference that i can spot here okay so let me just open dashboard page again after that i'll just click on this add task i can add a task in here in progress add a task i can add a task here perfect so i can add another task awesome that's great add a task perfect cool so there is this dashboard tab then there is this projects tab there is this one error which is hydration failed because of the server rendered html okay i know that what, what this error is but in case if you face any this kind of like error we can simply just copy that error from here as it is and then you can go back to tray and ask it to fix this error please fix this error press enter and now tray will automatically fix this error so just press enter and now our error should be fixed perfect our error is gone awesome and now from here you can just like carry on building further features you can maybe create a requirement file in here and then you can refer it to tray and ask it to like follow that requirement file you can also install these different extensions on tray so this is the extension store you can simply just access it from here and then you can install any of these extensions in here so tray is amazing you can see it works just like cursor and windsurf the builder is as good as cascade in windsurf and just like cursor ai agent so if you're looking to develop something using ai just just use tray you can develop mobile applications web applications landing pages anything that you want if you have any further questions just leave a comment in comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.